everyone, welcome to our Empathy Day story time. Please visit empathylab.uk to find out more about reading for empathy and you'll find some excellent book lists on there and some at home empathy based activities that you guys can do together. So today we're going to read two stories that will help us read for empathy and they're off one of some of those book lists. The first one is called The Truth About Old People and that was written and illustrated by Eleanor Ellis. And it's published by, oh no, it's published by Two Hoot Books. So thank you for those guys for letting me choose the story today. The second story we're going to read is called Mixed. And that has been written and illustrated by Ali Chung. And that was published by Macmillan Books. So we'll have a look at that one later. First of all, we'll find out exactly what the truth about old people is. story in here somewhere. My grandparents are really old. They have wrinkly faces and a little bit of hair and funny teeth. I've been hearing lots of strange things about old people. Some people say old people are not much fun. They say that old people are slow. Seems like they look slow on the roller skates. That old people are clumsy. I don't think Granny looks very clumsy tossing those pancakes, does she? People are not bendy. There's grandma down there doing her yoga poses. She looks plenty bendy to me. Someone told me old people are scared of new things. I don't think grandpa's scared of new things. Look, he's got a robot cat. Old people don't dance. They're having a proper boogie, aren't they? Look at them. And old people definitely don't care for romance. I think there's some romance left in Granny and Grandpa there. They say that old people are quiet. Quiet? I don't think they're quiet with a jamming session like that. My goodness, that looks lots of fun. And old people are not all adventurous. I think a picnic on the moon is an amazing, would be an amazing adventure. But I know the truth about old people. Old people are, what do you think old people are? Some good words. What do you think your granny and granddad are? Yeah, they are amazing. some great grannies and granddads out there, aren't there? And when you can, when you're allowed, it'd be great to get some good hugs and go dancing with your granny and grandpa, maybe even roller skating with them. Wouldn't that be cool? Now, our second story today, as I said before, is called Mixed, and that's been written and illustrated by Ari Chu. Look, we've got three different colours on this one. I wonder what's going to happen in this story. Three colours. Here we go. In the beginning, there were three colours. Reds, yellows and blues. Reds were the loudest. La 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 la. were the coolest. Hey. Everyone lived in colour harmony. 
Germany until we're all living together happily. Something's gonna happen. One afternoon, when a red said, Reds are the best. Huh. The yellows disagreed. No, we're the best because we're the brightest. The blues were too cool to respond. Might have been too cool to respond, but I don't think they looked very happy. This isn't very nice, is it? The colours decided to live in separate parts of the city. Oh. Got Redsville, Blue Town, and Yellow Heights. See, they decided it, but I don't think everyone's very happy. Look. Those guys are separated by a fence. That's not very good, is it? And they're building a wall. But then one day, a yellow noticed a blue. And something happened. I feel so happy when I'm with you. And I feel so calm when I'm with you. Aww. Yellow and blue became inseparable. Life felt so vibrant. But not all the colours were happy about it. I don't like yellow's effect on blue. Colours shouldn't mix. Blue isn't bright enough for yellow. Yellow and blue loved each other so much they decided to mix. <gasps> do, 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 do. Look, they got married. Together, they created a new colour. They named her Green. Just Green. Green was bright like yellow and calm like blue. But she really was a colour all of her own. Everyone was fascinated. <gasps> She's so cute. I've never seen anything like her before. Even the grumpy colours fell in love with green. <gasps> oh, can I hold her? The colours began to see new possibilities. Soon, other colours were mixed. Look, we've got red and yellow. And next, we've got blue and red, got the peach with the purple. And next, we've got green and orange, and we've got orange and purple. And next, okay, we've got all the different colours, all the colours of the rainbow. We've got all the colours now. There were so many new colours and a lot of new names. They said, be careful, Jade. Don't forget your glasses, Lavender. Have fun, Amber. Wow. The old neighbourhoods of Redville, Blue Town and Yellow Heights didn't make sense anymore. Everyone wanted to live together. And so they rebuilt the city. Look at that. They've got all those amazing colours. Look at them all living together happily and all being creative together. Look at that, isn't that great? The new city was full of colour. It wasn't perfect, but it was home. See that? No colour is better than another colour, are they? Everyone something to give them, something to share. And when you work together, even better stuff happens, doesn't it? Those were two of the end of today's last stories and I hope you enjoyed them today. Like I said, if you want to find out more about reading for empathy, please visit empathylab.uk where you will find some online activities that you can do together. 
And you'll also find some excellent reading lists that you can share with your family for all children of all ages, all from little dots all the way up to teenagers. So hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, have a fabulous elementary school weekend soon.